everybody, it's your girl Connie Kenneth and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, please make sure you subscribe and yeah, make sure you tell a friend, tell a friend, tell another friend. Listen today, um, I'm bringing you something different. So this is uh, from Miss Dosha, so a typical African village routine. So in an African village and yeah, thank you so much to whoever um, suggested this video. So if you would like me to react to any African YouTuber that you like, you just have to leave a comment, you know, um, under this video or any other video. And also you can contact me on Instagram. So you have all the information in the description down below. And I'll be so happy to, you know, to react to your content. Your wish is my command. All right. So let's get into this video and let's see what a typical African village like uh, life is like. OK, so let's see. Let's go. You see this place already just reminds me um you know when we go to the countryside there was like always a stream and it, the same same setting uh and we would just like um you know uh, fetch water for the livestock and when we would go and feed the cattle the goats and then there were like fruits all the way down and so we would always like pluck some fruit so it's uh, it brings back so many uh fond memories so this is really cool Family. Welcome to oh my goodness. Okay, well, I'm sorry. Channel Miss Dosha here. Today I'm going to share with you my special daily routine in the village. As oh, fantastic. And Miss Dosha, so nice to meet you. But I'm wondering, uh, where is the village where it looks like the I can see the, the, the makuti, so that's the, the palm tree leaves, I would say. It's a thatched thing, so it looks like, um, I would say the coastal region. And so that's my guess. So let me know in the comment section below. If you know Miss Dosha, where is she from? A village girl. Kindly, if you're new to this channel, consider subscribing, like, comment, and share it with your friends. Yes, the Let's same. The it's same. early in the morning, and the first thing I have to do is to take good care of the cows. Drop a Hey, that bull is really beautiful. Look at the bull. Like, comment, and share it with your friends. Let's get into it. It's early. Yeah, look at that. Okay, wow, it's fantastic. It's really beautiful. In the morning, and the first thing I have to do is to take good care of the cows. Drop a sweet comment for your girl. Mm. Oh. Ooh. I've always wondered if it is painful. Do you think it's painful when the when when the calf just goes in and and gets aggressive well you know uh, breastfeeding or mom i don't know how you say that mammal feeding i don't know let me know i've always wondered if it's painful straight away i go milking the cows okay and for sure this cow that i'm milking it's already pregnant yeah and milking is so hard i've tried it over and over again and i i've never managed to like fill up a jag or even a cup not to leave alone a jag and it's not easy but i guess it's a technique and you need to do it um i guess all the time and you know just to get the hand of it but it's not easy and yet the calf is only three months old let me know in your village if really oh, what, did she, what did she say you are this cow that i'm milking it's already pregnant mm. and yet the calf is only three months old let me know in your village if really this happens okay that's a good question but i feel it's just like for humans because when you give birth i have a friend she actually felt pregnant like immediately after giving birth so and when i say immediately not like the, the next day but like one month later or you know so i'm not surprised it can happen so i i think it can also happen when it comes to animals as well Oh, and yes, it's okay to milk a cow when it has it has a calf. I guess it has more milk, and because the calf doesn't really breastfeed all the time, that it, it's it's it, well, it's a bit more comfortable for the cow when it doesn't have too much milk, you know, in the mammal. So yeah. It 
is now time for me to release them so that they can go graze and today I'll have to tie them up okay. I cannot have time with them at the grazing fields okay so this bull here it doesn't like female gender so I don't know why it wants to hit me yet. I just want to untie it. Yes, but you know, bulls are very aggressive. Bulls are known to be very aggressive. I've never liked them, but they have this masculine energy to them and they're very aggressive and some even worse than that. So yeah, I, I don't know why. Wow. I've even urged mom to just sell it so that we can get another one. Let me know your suggestion on what we should do about this bowl. Well, you can have some nice barbecue. <laughs> and you can invite me for, you know, the barbecue. Okay. The cows are running to the banana plantation and I have to be okay. very fast before it messes me up. Oh, okay. I have so much respect for people uh, from the village because they work a lot. They're very hardworking, very active very dynamic very everything you know and i feel the simple lives that they have are just fantastic lives because they're very close to nature close to the basic things in life that are free the simple things in life that are free but make that make the human being so happy you know i don't know if you know what i mean but each time i go back to the village i have this serene i have peace that just goes through me i don't know how to explain it um you need to leave it to know what i'm talking about so yeah i love it very fast i tie the cows and i head back home mm -hmm. okay. so is this a one of your so the grazing field is it somewhere you rent or do you because i know there are some people instead of cutting off the grass using the cutting machine the the lawn machine um uh, then they just bring the some you know the cows the goats the sheep uh and then they eat off all the grass and so it's a very economical very environmental uh friendly way uh to cut off the grass so let me in the comment section below how you do it where you're from Sure, this cow just stopped breastfeeding and for sure it is already pregnant so we have two cows that is very good news for all right me. yeah that's really good so guys right now i'm preparing so that i can just clean this shed mm -hmm. the shed of the cow okay yeah just before it's time for me to get some water for the cows oh and the broom as well that broom is very um um it's a, it's a very good broom very solid yeah that's a word i was looking for it's a very solid broom um and then we used it a lot as well especially when you have uh, compounds which are not tarmacked or no tiles and stuff like that it's a very nice broom uh, when it comes to you know cleaning um you know in the village <clears throat> oh, wow. yeah and from what i see i think she's from the coastal region L just looking at how the house is behind you i feel like you're from the coastal region that's where you find this type of roofings but i i don't know so let me know if you know where miss dosha is from let me know in the comment section below of everything cow dung soil all the branches and, and it can be very nice manure you know uh, when it comes to you know when when you want to fertilize the plants the, the garden it can be very nice manure 
is this is the hip of the cow dung. Mm. Then this, I'm just waiting for it to dry. Okay. Then I'll make sure I just burn them. Yeah. Oh, and that's very interesting. I'm sorry, guys, I keep posing, but I love this video. Um, that's a very interesting thing. Why burn them? Because that's how things are in Africa. We don't have like, uh, like in the West where you have a, you have uh, beans and then you have the garbage collectors who come and then they, they, they separate uh, and then they burn in a, in a specific place in a dump site. It's different in Africa. So um, especially I think in the, in the main cities, probably it has started where they come and collect the dust and then they, you know, they burn them in a, in a, in a secure place, but it's not the same everywhere not at all so yeah so it's uh, uh it's interesting to note i used to do it myself we would just burn our garbage ourselves out at the house it's not environmentally friendly some would say but when you don't have a choice it's the best way instead of littering and and especially the plastic bags which are burnt in kenya now uh, i don't know if it's any other places in africa if, if it's the case but in kenya you, plastic bags were were banned from the market and so which is a great thing for the environment so we would just burn them and yeah so so that's how it is so this is how the place looks like mm. clothes were piling up in the house and okay. for sure one thing we do not have in our house is good storage of the clothes mm. so i don't know how i will go around about it but anyway i will take you a house tour of just our home and for sure you will have to suggest to me what really i have to do to improve about our storage oh, okay yeah you run over to her channel and give her some suggestions but it's true it's not easy i know my cousins used to store in um what do you call them in our uh, luggage in luggages so that was the way we would store uh they would store their clothes um you know in the house so yeah <laughs> this was also a time to catch up with mom and for sure this is the time she asked me a question that just blew my mind off mm -hmm. am i dating <laughs> wow that one was a very good question yeah yeah i think it's 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 very rare for especially the african setting for parents to ask you are you dating they always wait for you to bring somebody home uh, but I feel it comes, I don't know how old is Miss Dosha, but there is an age where the parents are like, oh my goodness, it's about time. Uh, you, you know, you started dating, we want the marriage, we want the dowry, we want the children, we want everything. So yeah, it's interesting, uh, an interesting conversation, I guess, with your mom. Though a very wrong time. <laughs> anyway, I was not ready to answer her, but let me hope that I will answer that soon. I don't know if someone has come along, then who am I not to date? Right. <laughs> it's now time to go to the river and I have to slow down because I'm getting mm. some noises or rather some men talking and maybe they're betting. Oh yeah, I know that's the rule number one and that's something my aunties told me, my uncles told me. My cousins back in the village, they would tell me when, you, when you're when you approaching uh, so the river or the stream, then you must make sure that you speak louder just to make sure people can hear that you're coming. Because you had some people who were bathing there, uh, butt naked, and so you need to be very, very careful when you're uh, when you're approaching, um, you know, the river. And so I, I yeah, I can relate 100%, 100%. Who knows? So I have to really ask them if they're bathing or I can just come while well, they weren't. So okay. let me proceed. Wow. This video brings back so many memories. It's crazy. I feel like this is the same place where I used to go to when I was a child. But no, it wasn't. But wow, it looks the same, same, same setting. And it's fantastic. And the fruits, I remember we used to plug. I think I've said it, but oh, that was like fond memories. You know, be it oranges, avocados, mangoes, 
bananas and not taking a bag just plucking one here and there because when you take a bag then it's not fair to the farmer and that's like stealing and you can have trouble you can be in trouble doing that but when you just pluck one here and there then it's not it doesn't uh, really uh, create problems so it was a really it was a fantastic time and great memories if you come to this stream one thing you have to know when you come to this stream you have to know the flow of the stream so that you can know how to dig your hole and okay. how to fetch how to position your bucket or your jerry can so that you can be able to fetch some water okay so um does it mean that you're digging the hole so you can place the bucket correctly or are you digging the hole so that you can bring uh, cleaner water up into this up um, up onto the surface so what is it what is a hole for and how from my, from what I can see I feel like this trim is going down that way uh, where Miss um, Dosha is facing but it will be interesting to know um, why the digging and yeah and, and then you know just to know when you position the bucket is it like to get like cleaner water looks like this is water for the livestock but do you use this water also for every day, like cleaning the dishes? Um, because I know you can you can leave the water uh, to you know the dust to fall. Then you collect the clear water. If it's for boiling, uh, if it's for drinking, then you boil it first. So I would like to know those details. So let me know how you do it in your village or in your country. Wow, this is it. Wow, I have to make my ngata. I don't know how you wow. call it, ngara, kata. How do you call this in your village? So that at least it can help me position my bucket very well. Then because the bucket is too, too big, I will just look at a slightly hill okay. place so that I can be able to position myself and put the bucket on my head. Yeah, because it's not easy to balance the gutter first and then place the bucket without it falling down and i guess that's what happened in the beginning of the video when it fell off but yeah oops, oops. there we go yeah wow that is life in the village you just have to cope with everything mm. everything all the circumstance that comes along you have to right but i'm so happy miss dosha you're a real african uh, village girl because there are so many people who are doing these videos and they're not really they're not really from the village born in the village raised in the village doing um, you know, it's just like just um, skits, I would say, and it's really nice to see a real uh, person from the village doing the daily, uh, you know, chores, and it's uh, it's really uh, yeah, this is an authentic video, and I really appreciate. So thank you to whoever, uh, you know, one of my subscribers who asked me to react to this video. So I love it. My friend is wow. here, actually she is passing and I know one of the cows that it is very, very stubborn okay. and there it is. <laughs> wow. Ooh. Oh my goodness, no. Really fighting. top of the tree okay when when the when the mangoes were that high my cousins would go up the tree but personally we would just like if it was not too high would take a stick and try and you know and and pluck it and uproot it uh and then um but i mean if it's possible just jump and catch it so i don't know how miss daughter is going to do it let's see So one funny thing in our village is Yo, that she's gangster. I love it. She's in a dress. 
you know, she's in a dress and she's going to climb the tree and go all the way up. Okay. But when you see a mango mm. on top of a tree or any fruit, when I go and uproot one, there is no problem. The only problem mm. can be when I go with a sack and just uproot without permission of right. the owner. But if that's what I told you guys, that's true. If I just go on top of a tree and I uproot it, no problem. Right. Right. Mm. Oh, she can climb and barefoot. Yo, and barefoot. Respect, girl. Respect. Here is a mango. Wow. types of mangoes that I shared with you if you've not watched my video on types of mangoes that we have okay. in our village then I will just link above so that at least you can catch up with us okay. drop a sweet comment for your girl <laughs> This tree is too comfortable that I feel like I should just spend more time on top of it. But anyway, it is now just time for us to oh go home. Oh my up. goodness, Miss Dosha, why are you doing this to me? I love it. That's how I eat mangoes. I'm telling you when I'm eating a mango, it becomes, it goes from yellow to white. Because even the strands, I just like remove every single piece of mango on the strands, on the bone. Oh my goodness, it's just, uh, if you've never tasted mangoes from Africa, what are you doing? You know, and not the ones we find in the supermarkets here. You need to travel to Africa and taste fruits, all the exotic fruits from Africa. They are delicious, so tasty that, mm, nothing to do with what we find. I like to choose. Mm. Mom will tell me to go back to the river. Okay. <laughs> the sun is already setting and I have to untie these cows. Let me just go remember in our village, our cows drink in the evening water. So let me know what time of the day do your cows drink water. Oh, that's interesting. But why? Why in the evening? Is there a reason to that? Is it just because water is scarce and then you have to go all the way to the river, come back all the way up? I remember it was my kid and we used to go, we used to go like uh, two or three times up and down um, so we can have enough water and fill up the tank. But is it because the water is scarce or cows don't need to drink a lot? So let me know in the comment section below if you know. Drop a sweet comment for you, girl. Yes, girl. Wow. channel consider subscribing like comment and share it to your friends remember at Miss Dosha's family we always remind you to be your own kind of successful beauty peace <laughs> oh fantastic Miss Dosha my goodness that's really lo lovely 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 it's nice to see an authentic typical African village routine and I, would, I just want to know where, where in Kenya is this? Looks like the coastal region to me. And even the music, uh, you know, the, the instrumentals that come with the video. So let me know in the comment section below where she's from. And I really loved uh, this video. 
and I hope you did as well. I hope you enjoyed my reaction. And so if you'd like me to react to one of your best African YouTubers, just drop a comment, drop the link down below, and I'll be so happy uh, to react to them. So until next time, it's your girl Connie, and bye.